Hello, this is the AVIT department, What's Mr. Computer Lab. Today I just wanted to show you uh, of a new resource that we have on our computer lab. It's a wireless keyboard. Um, it's a Logitech uh, Multi um, Board Pro. Um, its feature is wireless and with an onboard touchpad, which makes it very, very um, easy uh, to manipulate not only the keys, but the, the mouse itself. In the startup procedures in an earlier video, we mentioned that to turn on the uh, uh, wireless keyboard and uh, by, by moving the slider, and the green light should indicate that the power is on. Uh, just some tips here uh, for use. Um, sometimes when people use this for the first time, uh, they try to move the um, touchpad like they would a mouse, uh, and nothing would happen on the screen. The data projector. Um, my suggestion is press the shift key first, then um, move the um, mouse pad, and then you'll notice that there will be immediate reaction. For some reason, um, when the system starts up for the first time or after long periods of inactivity, you'll uh, have the system wake up quicker if uh, you press the shift key uh, and then follow that with uh, mouse pad movements on the touchpad. Um, a couple of other areas to note or suggest is now you have the teacher has total flexibility uh, to move throughout the room. They could be teaching at the front of the class near the data display screen. Uh, they could be sitting down just like as a colleague. Sometimes uh, students or people in the class would like this because you're down at their level, you're relaxed and uh, especially with tools now uh, that are in the lab such as iTalk to manage uh, workstations, you don't necessarily have to hover around students. You could be sitting uh, um, um, from the comfort of your own desk, looking up at the screen and gently taking control of the student's workstations. Um, the way that you could operate this is by having the keyboard lie on your lap and just simply use it that way. Um, it's also designed that you could be um, teaching and just uh, holding the keyboard with uh, both hands and when you need to, uh, type onto the keyboard and uh, and uh, when you need to use mouse mo motion while holding the keyboard, move the mouse. Now something as a matter of interest is with the touch keypad, you'll notice that there are buttons for uh, left and right click. Um, sometimes that's good, sometimes that's very um, frustrating to use, so here's some additional information. Uh, to do a double click, you don't have to double click the mouse pad, just quickly tap with your thumb, boom. Um, the, um, the, the touchpad and that will simulate a double click. Uh, for things like dragging um, items, uh, the best way to do this is, I don't know if you can see it on the keyboard here, um, but on the, to the, uh, to the left of the keyboard are uh, keys and, and uh, look like there are two mouse buttons and one represents left click and one represents right click. By the way, simultaneously pressing right and left click uh, represents middle click uh, for your information. That's good on Windows systems as well as on the, the Linux systems themselves. So for example, I'll show you uh, a couple of demonstrations here. Here's the, here's the wrong way to do it, just for your information. I'm going to try to set this up. If I wanted to Click and drag the cheese window with my picture in it. This would be the bad way. Holding down the left mouse button by the touchpad and then dragging. Yes, it's working, but boy, I look like a like an instrument player. <laughs> it's very, very silly here. A better way to do this, as I mentioned very quickly is by using the keys that are on the left of the spacebar. So in this case, hold down that uh, left click key and now I can use the touchpad and that's just so much easier to actually drag the, uh, the, uh, the window around. Uh, that's about it. Uh, just be aware that at the end of your session that uh, since this is a battery powered uh, unit, uh, you need to uh, turn off the power um, 
as is mentioned in the power off procedure, so you'll just simply waste the battery. Um, this is the uh, AVIT department, just wishing you happy volunteering and uh, enjoy the new resource. Talk to you later.